with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wonderful planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past few decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part two of a 14-part series titled The Secrets of Venus, a discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai with Supreme Master Television staff concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet as well as other planets. Hi, Master. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Very well. <laughs> when did the destruction of, of Venus happen? Oh, that was millions of years ago, long, long before Mars. Therefore, no Venus person was there for me to contact. That's why it took a longer time for me also hmm? Hmm. to get all the answer for you. You see, the... Answers come not from Venus. All the answers that you get right now uh, did not come from Venus itself, did not come from this hot planet, and of course less from the disappeared other Venus. Eh? Venus 4, I would call it. In my vision, it's just number 4. And the one we're asking now is number 1, eh? and then the other 2, 3. Yeah, all right. One first one and the last one were in trouble. So these answers, I have to come ask Mars people. Oh. The Mars elderly help me to get some answer. And then the other more profound answer came not from Mars even, because Mars people cannot tell everything. So some of the questions were answered by Mars elderly. But most of the answer I told you, even for the uh, disappear Venus and all that, came from another source of information. Namely, we have to thank the God of Galaxy Record Library. He keeps all these records. <laughs> of our galaxy only, yeah? Yeah. Please don't go too far. I <laughs> will have to meditate too long. Your question seems simple, but I had to work hard. And I don't know which source to contact, because these information don't come from the Akashic Record Library. Oh. Yes. These are from the Galaxy Historical Record Library, and no one is able to go inside to check, because I guess it doesn't concern anyone. We can check our uh, our record in the uh, Akashic Record Library, but we cannot go into this library to check about our galaxy disappearance or survival. But because the God who is in charge of the galaxy historical record, he was kind and he just let me know the information. So we have to thank him, huh? Yeah, thank you. Oh, it's a her, sorry. <laughs> It's a beautiful goddess, yes, very kind, gentle, yes, helpful. I also did not know this before, huh? yes, thanks to your question and your earnest uh, inside request that I was able to contact this goddess 
Otherwise, I did not even think about that. You see what I mean? Yes? I did yes. not think about that. No one can go in there. Huh? But she gave me information, and that's just enough for us. How much time did they have? Did they take any actions, or was it already too late? It was, yeah. Well, I think you answered this question, but were there not enough people like Mars to spread the word that it was important to be veg? No, no, it wasn't. They didn't have time at all. Within a few weeks' time, the whole planet was destroyed. Yes, destroyed. Because of the poisonous gases, yes, from livestock. Of course, it's trigger all the gases, yeah, from the ocean, from the warm ocean, as you know, it's similar to our planetary problem right now. It happened too fast for them. And uh, they did not uh, really have time. They did not really care about this vegetarian diet. They did not really go into any spiritual dimension. Mars was a little better, you see. <laughs> but this one, no. In this Venus, the hot Venus, even core of uh, the planet was also full now of hot and poisonous gas, so no life can exist. Maybe those microscopic life was is useless for us or for any human to dwell there, if you could even get there. The size of the uh, disintegrated Venus is similar to Mars. But the other two Venus are very cool, very good. They have no war at all, and uh, they have less meat-eater population, you see. So more or less, they are balanced with the karmic law, yes. <laughs>